G'day fellow moto vloggers uh, Bandit Nev on Bandit Ruby on this Monday afternoon with the first test of the GoPro Hero 4 moto vlogging see how it goes <coughs> yeah I was uh, I've been waiting, I've had it for about a week, but I've been waiting on um, a little uh, gadget, a little um, USB Wi-Fi dongle, little, a little one. And the uh, reason why I've been waiting on that is because what I, fi what I found out on, uh, on YouTube uh, with the Wi-Fi, on the GoPro, it has an address. Uh, HTTP colon forward slash forward slash 10.5.5.9 semi or colon, uh, that's the two dots, one above the other, um, 8080. So that's the port that it uses. So that means that if you're on a Wi-Fi network, rather than uh, go through the uh, hassles of um, unplugging all the plugs and transferring your files or whatever, you can actually transfer them via Wi-Fi from uh, your GoPro to the computer. Uh, you just have to... Um, Type those uh, addresses in uh, in your browser. Have the GoPro on the Wi-Fi on, and it will ask you for the um, the key to get into your GoPro, whatever you uh, have typed into that when you did the uh, update or, or whatever, and uh, and you'll get in and you'll see the uh, the file structure in your web browser of the GoPro. So then you can uh, click the file, right mouse click and save as, and it sort of like downloads it from, uh, from your GoPro to your hard drive, wherever you want it to go. So that's why I've been uh, waiting a while to be able to try it out and um, well this will be the first test won't it on the uh, the 10.5.5.9 colon 8080 uh, it sounds like jargon to some people but I, I sort of understand it uh, because I've been in the industry for such a long long time it wasn't me officer it's not even looking this way. So yeah, um, let's hope that works. And the voice is coming through nicely on the GoPro Hero 4 with the Senna SMH10 and the Senna GP10. And all is well. I've also got the, uh, the Hero 3 on the back of course. Some of you have already seen some of the footage of that. And uh, that's working well. It's going to be quite funny how I'm going to uh, sync it up if I need, if I want to use some of the, um, the footage. Um, I suppose if it's one second out it won't matter too much. So hopefully uh, that'll be alright. Be a bit of a challenge getting both the videos going like some people do um, just a little subject today um, just a question to all the, the viewers subscribers do you have any uh, have any things you collect anything uh, strange or whatever I collect a couple of things. I collect, uh, of all things, the Zippo lighters. 
I don't smoke, I haven't smoked for 10 years, but I still buy it. Every now and then, if I see one I like, I'll buy it. I'm not sure exactly how many I've got, but I've got probably... Uh, what would it be? Um, uh, around between about 30, 35, 40, something like that. Um, I also, for some reason, I don't know why, but I love uh, timepieces like uh, pocket watches. I've always loved pocket watches for some reason. Ever since I was a youngster, I love pocket watches. I've got a few different ones. They're not, they're not old or anything like that, um, but they're quite nice. Um, just get past this bus. Um, yeah, uh, the old-fashioned pocket watches. I've got a couple of ones that are worth about 40 odd dollars and others that are El Cheapos but well if I like it I'll collect it you know ones with a like a train on it or um, even a motorbike even a motorbike on it um, on the front cover of the uh, well the protector if you like the uh, the lid on the pocket watch so yeah if you've got anything you like collecting that's a little bit strange I don't know if uh, Zippo's collecting Zippo's is strange or collecting pocket watches is, is strange, but well, anyway, Bandit Nev on uh, Bandit Ruby on this uh, quite nice Monday afternoon. Bidding you uh, safe riding, fellow moto vloggers, and uh, cheers for now.